What's going on, boxing fans? Jordan Williams here at the distance. We've got a video for you guys. Um, as you can kind of tell, I'm not even at my house right now. Where I tend to do videos, and also I'm not using my HD camcorder. Um, neither. I'm using a webcam. Um, using a lady friend's webcam. Um, as you can tell, this is this isn't even my house. But um, it is what it is. Let's um get into um this video. This one is pretty much going to be Robert about Robert Guerrero. Give this guy a break. Now in the in the now in the past with my um, videos of give this guy and give that guy a break, they have ultimately failed somewhat. Is this going to be an epic fail? I don't know. Maybe I jinxed these people. Um, who knows? But let's get into the video. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. As I said like two seconds ago, well, I've been drinking a little too much over the last night. Or so anyway, Robert Guerrero, give this guy a break. Um, Robert Guerrero is. Robert Guerrero is pretty much a top young young fighter that really hasn't been given much of a shot. Um, if you ask me, um, hasn't really found a weight class to where you know he can just totally you know become a star at. And then, you know he's moved up from featherweight to 130 now on the lightweight and could be on the 140 um, very soon if the money's right. Um, the perfect fight to do right now because Golden Boy always has that annual um, September car with Mexican fighters. Is September is you know probably a September 18th card excuse me September 17th card or 16th whatever the date may be this year the perfect card is a September 16th um, annual Golden Boy card with the Mexican fighters the perfect fight to put on that card maybe as a main event would be would probably be Marcos Maidana versus Robert Guerrero that would more than likely be the perfect fight if not that fight then Eric Morales versus Robert Guerrero. Um, personally, I think that Rob Guerrero is ready for a championship shot um, at this point of his career. Um, he's, I don't even remember how old he is. I don't, I don't really look too much, do too much research. He's probably in his late 20s by now. You know, he's been a title set at um, Feather, excuse me, I think at 126 or 130, he was a, he was a titleist. Um, had a great fight against Malcolm Klaus and a perfect fight, if you ask me. Um, but he's one of those guys that does sit on leads and kind of gets a little careless and reckless as far as progress. But Rob Guerrero, I just think, deserves, you know, a shot at something, you know, very soon. Uh, Marcus Maidana is that perfect fight for him. He's, I think um, either Mar Marcus Maidana or Eric Morales would be the perfect fights for him at, if he um, fights on the upcoming undercard for Golden Boy. Um, just because, you know, he has the overall skill. He has a skill. He has a technique. Um, but a lot of people have questioned in the past his heart, especially the fight against Dal Dan in March of 2009, um, when he basically, and I will openly admit being a Royal fan, he basically quit that fight. He basically quit and, you know, didn't, you know, didn't finish the fight when he should have. I think it was like an eye injury or something along those lines. Also, there was a fight where he got careless against Joe, Ca Joel Casamayor, um, July of 2009. That was July 2009, I believe. Or excuse me, July of 2010. July 31st, 2010. Got careless and got knocked down in that fight. He was able to get back up. I think that was like in the later, later, late in the fight. But, you know, overall he's bounced back. He's, and he fought um, Vicente Escobedo. I um, had a good showing, but he kind of did, you know, cruise off and lay around in that one. And later, and then he fought, you know, Michael Cassidy's, I think, had, you know, a great showing against him. The problem with Robert Guerrero that he's going to come across as a boxer is the fact that he did not go for the knockout. And that's going to be troublesome, you know, getting him deals with networks. The fact that he doesn't go out, go for the knockout. And also, I can openly admit that he's not, most of the time, he's not the most entertaining fighter to watch. But what entertains is, What's entertaining to me for Robert Guerrero is his skill level. He has a good skill level, and with his skill level, you know he, he does he does do well at outpoint outpointing his opponent, and you know beating him to the punch, good hand speed, um, pop, decent pop behind the punches. I think personally he could I think he could have stopped Michael Cassidy in the fight back on April 9th. I think he could I thought he could stop, but. You know, he didn't didn't really go for the knockout. He just, you know, pretty much focused on himself boxing. And I think that's pretty much a problem that a lot of the boxers now have. A lot of the young up and comers, yep, young up and comers that are coming up, they come across that problem of, you know, going for the knockout and 
I mean, not going for the knockout. I'm looking, you know, outpoint the opponents, which is nothing wrong with. But um, networks like to see um, fighters that are exciting and just go for the knockout. And Robert Grove isn't really that type of fighter. He doesn't take too many risks in fights. So that's probably the reason that, you know, a lot of people, you know, aren't willing to show him in, you know, certain fights, I think. But I personally think that he did he did deserve the, the fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. I thought he deserved a shot against him. More than likely, he will not fight Brandon Rios anytime soon. He probably will not fight Miguel Vasquez Jr. Probably more than likely will not fight the IBF champion. So more than likely, he's going to be condensed down to fighting Golden Boy fighters unless he moves up to 140. And at 135, I think Robert Guerrero has the potential to clean out that division or get some big fights in that division um, in the near future. Um, but I think he's a guy that deserves a shot at fighting the upper echelon of fighters. And right now we're not seeing him get that opportunity. Hopefully we will soon. Robert Guerrero, this guy deserves a break. Um, put him in, put him in, you know, a decent fight. You know, have him headline a HBO card or something. You know, at least instead of fighting, you know, undercard fights for, you know, fighters that are less talent, talented than him. I personally thought, I personally think he he has more talent than than Marcos Maidana, who we, and um, he's not as, like I said, Eric Morales is a legend, but he has way more talent than Marcos Maidana. Um, Zab Judah, you know, if in the Zab Judah undercard back on on November sixth, I personally think if he put a better opponent in front of Guerrero, he could have. I think he could have done, um, you know, I think he could have been a headliner. Um, but he, he, they just continue to put him on, you know, undercards of, you know, other other fighters. And I think the problem with him is he, he's just a fighter that doesn't go for the knockout. And that looks look for that. It's political bullshit from time to time with him. But it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Now the distance. Peace.